by the grace of Allah by the grace of Allah by the grace of Allah صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه واله وسلم سيدنا سليمان على نبينا عليه الصلاه والسلام is the son of سيدنا داوود على نبينا عليه الصلاه والسلام he على نبينا عليه الصلاه والسلام was successor of his blessed father الله عز وجل bestowed him with the status of the prophethood and the kinship of the whole world and he على نبينا عليه الصلاه والسلام remained on the throne for a period of 40 years he ala nabiyyina alayhi salatu wassalam ruled over humans jinns devils birds beasts insects and everything and everyone he ala nabiyyina alayhi salatu wassalam was bestowed with the linguistic knowledge of all the creatures therefore it has been mentioned in the holy quran translation kanzul iman and sulaiman became dawud's successor and said o people We have been taught the language of birds and have been given from all things this surely is an evident favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likewise it has been mentioned at another place in the glorious Quran translation comes al iman and we made the wind subservient to Sulaiman its morning course equal to a month's journey and the evening course equal to a month's journey and we caused a spring of molten copper to flow for him and Allah made subservient to Sulaiman some of the jinns who worked before him by the command of his lord and those among the jinns who turned away from our command we shall make them taste the punishment of the blazing fire they would make for him whatever he wished lofty palaces and statues bowls as large as big pools and large cooking pots fixed in their places it has been narrated that one sayyiduna sulaiman ala nabiyyina alayhi salatu wassalam was passing with all of his armies that consisted of humans as well as jinns from the valley of naml situated in taif or syria where ants would exist in a large number the queen of the ants that was a female as well as lame warned all ants and said o oh, ants all of you go into your holes otherwise Sayyiduna Sulaiman ala nabiyyina alayhi salatu wassalam and his army may unknowingly crush you under their feet. Sayyiduna Sulaiman ala nabiyyina alayhi salatu wassalam heard this speech from a distance of three miles and smiled over it. Therefore Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, translation, comes al iman, until when they came to the valley of ants, an ant exclaimed, O oh, ants, go into your homes. Sulaiman and his armies may not crush you unknowingly so he Sulaiman therefore smilingly laughed at her speech from this quranic event the views of madani channel we acquire a few moral lessons listening to a voice of an ant from a distance of 3 miles is a miracle of sayyidina Sulaiman ala nabiyyina alayhi salatu wassalam and we have also come to know that the hearing and seeing capabilities of anbiya alayhimu salatu wassalam cannot be compared with the capabilities of ordinary human beings in fact all the faculties of anbiya alayhimu salatu wassalam are stronger than those of ordinary people the second lesson that we learn is that from the speech of the ant we also come to know that even ants believed in the companions of any nabi alayhimu salatu wassalam that they cannot intentionally oppress anyone why because the ants said wa hum la yash'urun meaning that if sayyiduna sulaiman alayhi salam and his army crush them under their feet then it will be done unintentionally otherwise being companions of a nabi alayhi salatu wassalam they will not oppress anyone deliberately the third lesson that we learned here is that we have also come to know that the laughing of the blessed anbiya karam alayhi salatu wassalam is only a smile or an inaudible laugh and it has been mentioned in the ahadith that these prestigious personalities never cut laughter sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam by the grace of allah by the grace of allah by the grace of allah we love
Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel.